Now, of course, plenty of Buckeye fans are also on their way home tonight after seeing all of this excitement firsthand. And Dini, that includes some of head coach Urban Meyer's oldest friends. Mm -hmm. News Channel 5's John Kosick talked to them before they headed to Dallas and just caught up with them when they returned here to Northeast Ohio tonight, John. Yeah, Chris and Danita, there wasn't much sleep over the last two days for the guys from Ashtabula, but who needs sleep when you're living a dream? For Rick Pugliese and Tom Panna, the last 72 hours falls into bucket list territory. You know what I've said all weekend? Awesome. That's the only word that comes out of my mouth. It was awesome. The childhood friends of Urban Meyer from Ashtabula traveled to Dallas at the coach's invitation, not thinking they'd get to see him. But I sent him a text, and sure enough, he said, hey, stop by the hotel. I'll be in about 8.30. Meyer then invited them to practice the next day, then gave them seats for the game, 40-yard line, second row, with his family. But they got to watch their pal carve his place in Ohio State history. We're 50 years old and growing up around here, you don't get very many opportunities to be where confetti's flying at the end of the game and it's your team. The love of Ohio State these guys share is something that Meyer touched on with the media this morning. You see you guys from high school show up the night before at the game and we talked about when we were Buckeye fans and we we're, you know, in grade school. Ah, great school. We asked Rick if Meyer knew he shared this leisure suit photo of the two of them with us. I don't think he still knows it, but I gave it to his, his sister was sitting behind us during the game, and I was talking to her, and I sent her, she asked me to send her that picture, and she just kind of laughed, shared it with his nieces and nephews. The guys knew this would be a once-in-a-lifetime trip. That being said, they're already hoping lightning strikes twice. We'll see you in Phoenix next year. I don't even know how we top it next year. I said, what else could have gone right this weekend? Ah, uh, bucket list for sure. The tough part after a weekend like this, if they make it back next year, everyone's going to want in. On your side, John Kosick, News Channel 5. You're right about are. that. <laughs>